I'm Helen. I'm the one of the community leader here in Women of Courage Asia. So today I have the privilege to introduce Nicole, who will be our uh, speaker for Story of Courage this coming July 28th for our monthly empowerment meeting. So Nicole, uh, I know we're gonna hear a lot of your stories then, but before that, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do? Yes, thank you, Helen. All right. Hi, everybody. I am Nicole. I'm a mother of two. So I, I'm a mother of uh, two to a 13 years old teen girl wow. and an 11 years old boy. Yeah. So now I'm currently the founder of Symphony Sensations. Symphony Sensations conduct a series of a DIY workshop or teen bonding, such as creating your own personal life perfume. Wow. Jewelry making and soap nice. making using therapeutic great uh, essential oils like this. Oh. Yeah. yeah, okay. So uh, I'm also a diamond leader in uh, doTERRA. I built my business around the essential oils. Wow, amazing. <laughs> yes, correct. So before embarking into the natural pathway, I was a resourcing manager in the banking industry. So being constantly in the stressful and fast-paced environment, you know right how banking is always fast, fast, yes. fast. You have to be, you know, uh, productive, right? So my health was affected. And I suffer bad eczema when I discover how this little bottle of uh, essence can actually impact me and my family's health. Okay, I decided to focus my energy into advocating natural, healthy lifestyle through talks and classes. So talks on wow. health and wellness like stress management, pain management, and I go to organization like uh, the banking sometimes, banking industry, Singapore Police Force, HDB Hub. I am also a MOE registered trainer and I conduct wow. elective module in local schools. Wow, that's amazing. I think really we need more uh, stress management in our life. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, you, since you are in a banking industry, you definitely know the stress level. So, <laughs> so, so nice. So I cannot wait to hear your story. It must be really good. So can you share with us like three fun facts about you that um, a lot of people don't know? Okay, I think uh, number one, Sometimes when you are a mother, they assume that you know how to cook and you've been cooking for your children, right? Yeah. So the number one fun fact is I can't cook even though <laughs> I have children on my own. Well, they survive. Now they are teenager. <laughs> so what's next? The second one? Okay, the second one is I love craft work. So I can like, even oh. handcraft my own jewelry like my earring. I handcraft it myself as well. Wow, so nice. Wow, that's nice. Well, the third one. Okay, the third one is, uh, you know, being a modern woman, a Singaporean, so everybody will assume that, oh, you know how to read maps, right? No, I can't. You know, if I read map, I need to flip, flip, flip the handphone on <laughs> just to find where I am, so I can't read maps. So, I think your husband is good in that, right? <laughs> yes, yes, he has to be good in direction. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, I think we can really relate to you. Uh, we are women, right? Sometimes we are difficult <laughs> with the map. So, yes. uh, so that's fun. I have special special question for you. Okay. So I will shoot 10 questions and you just answer me. Okay. The first thing on top of your mind. This All is right. secret, right? Okay. So there's no rehearsal. So are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. I'm very excited. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Favorite food or fruit? Food. Favorite food? Uh, laksa. Oh, wow. What is your favorite color? Color is uh, lilac purple. Oh, what is your favorite scent? Favorite scent? Um, vanilla. Oh, what is your best holiday so far? Wow, my best holiday. Okay, my best holiday was 27 days in Europe with my girlfriend and that's how I discovered I can't read maps. Oh my God, that is so awesome. <laughs> what is your dream when you were young? Wow, my dream. Okay, you can't believe it. When I was young, I wanted to be a teacher. <gasps> okay, you have the teacher face. <laughs> What is the most courageous things you have done so far? Wow, most courageous things. Uh, mm, I think I... Okay, I'm not good in swimming and I just go ahead and do uh, snorkeling uh, just like wow. that in oh, Maldives wow. like 15 years ago. <laughs> that is courageous. So, who inspired you? Who inspired me? Um, I would say in my youngest younger days when I was a financial advisor, uh, one of the colleagues inspired me in a sense that he is actually very, very resourceful. 
yeah and he he can find means and way to get things done and i guess uh, being long term with a mentor like this uh, move me to where i am today yeah oh wow so he 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 inspired me because you know he's like he's like nobody but he mm-hmm. can find ways and means to get to where he wants and to get a dream house a dream car wow. yeah, so he was my inspiration Okay, so it's so good to have somebody that's around us that inspire us, not like someone out there, right? Yeah, that's good. But unfortunately, I'm no longer with contact with him mm. because um, we're in different industry. And okay. actually, I didn't know that he impacted me until like over the years. I start to realize, hey, how come I, I am like uh, very resourceful as well. Oh. So that, that was the the impact that I had with him uh, in my twenties, like my mentor. Wow. So you never know who you will impact, right? When you're yeah. young, so that's yes. good. That's very strong. Yeah. Any f- favorite quotes? Oh, favorite quote. Yes, I always believe in uh, being humble because when you're humble, you actually get to learn more things. Yeah. So yeah. when you are humble, that's where uh, learning begins. Oh, that's so good. Yes. And the last one, what motivates you to do this every day? Uh, you mean my job? Yeah, whatever you do, your job, your... Cool. Alright, maybe I, I ch- just share a little bit. Like for me, I never felt that I was working every day because I felt that uh, in my line of work, my job is just to meet up and catch up with my friends, awesome. yeah, to drink coffee, to share with you what I do and I just want to find out more about what you do now. And if you find that my eyes can help you on the emotional or physical level, okay, great, let's see what we can do. If you can't, and then that's why I just uh, create some awareness. So I love uh, my job. I really love what I do on a daily basis. Wow, I can really feel you really love the job and the oil. I also believe in oil. So, uh, so convinced with you. That's why you are in diamond. <laughs> yes, so, you. so amazing. Can't wait to really hear your story. So everyone, so don't miss this opportunity to hear a story of my Nicole, a story of courage. A story of courage is always empower us because we can relate more the struggle and also how she come to this stage and she come out from the the down pit, the valley pit. So Nicole, lastly, mm. do you have anything to share with us before we part? Yes. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, I love to meet people because I, I, I mean, you can tell that I'm an extrovert. <laughs> so, uh, but I've been through a lot. So if you want to find out more, I can share with you more on the 28. So uh, my mission is actually to inspire people to take ownership of their life so that they can live a life of freedom and happiness. Mm-hmm. And that is why I join Women of Courage to serve mm-hmm. as a community leader, to encourage and inspire women to take charge of their life, mm-hmm. to enjoy their work and be able to help the people around them. Yeah. So on the 28th, what I'm going to share is, I will share uh, not one, not two, but three crises in my uh-huh. 10 years of corporate world. And oh. I will share with you how I rise, how I rise above that uh, my retrenchment and my termination. Oh, wow, I think a lot of people can really relate to that, especially during this pandemic, right? during this struggle yeah. season. Yes, I think yeah. uh, like you, maybe they can find a pivot. It could be a silver lining, there's a silver lining to it. Yeah. A lot of women would be very, very interested to know, like because I was terminated when I was pregnant. Oh wow, wow! Yeah. That is yeah. very, very hard. Yeah, it, it it took me a while to wow. Why did this happen to me? <laughs> Can really feel okay. We don't yeah. want to spill a lot more, yes. but this is a teaser, so you really, uh, this is gonna be good. So yeah. make sure you subscribe and <laughs> make sure you register. Yes, I'm also subscribe to this channel, but register. I see you there. All right, yes. thank you everyone. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so thank much you, and have a good day. This is a morning day. <laughs> thank you. See you. Bye. Thank you. Hello. Bye-bye.